Hi guys, it's Rhys Henley here for Victory and Vice's podcast on the countdown to the European Championships. I'm putting each competing nation under the microscope, assessing their chances at this summer's tournament and giving my verdict on exactly where I think they'll finish. Today I'll be taking a look at 2018 World Cup hosts Russia. Russia has something of a conundrum in the world of football. They seem to be incredibly hit and miss since the collapse of the Soviet Union and it's extremely odd that for a football playing nation as opposed to countries like China or South Africa, they seem to churn out such a small amount of genuinely quality players for a country as colossal as it is. Perhaps the relative reclusion of Russian football and to some extent Russian sport in general does not facilitate talented youngsters with a platform to grow and expand their game into the major European leagues. Whatever the cause, Russia have established themselves as a fairly ever-present team at major tournaments, only missing out on three major tournaments this century. The problem is, as far as Russian fans are concerned, and as I alluded to earlier, you just don't know what Russia is going to arrive at the tournament. For example, in 2008, they were semi-finalists at the Euros, and in 2018, they played some brilliant football that got them to a World Cup quarter-final, but in 2016 and 2012, they were dreadful. It does seem, though, that even though they didn't win their qualification group, finishing second to Belgium, they beat every other team in the group, and indeed only drop points to Belgium. That does seem to imply that the kind of form that we saw from Russia at the World Cup has been carried through, even though their Nations League form hasn't exactly been great. But there definitely is cause for optimism ahead of this summer's tournament. So who will be making the squad for Russia this summer? As I mentioned, Russian players are largely unknown to a lot of English football fans. Perhaps it is only really Yuri Zhirkov and Roman Pavlyuchenko that have really made it in the Prem over the last decade. That does not mean, however, that their squad is not laden with technically gifted players who can play. Unfortunately for Russia, Igor Akinfeyev, who was never present for Russia in goal of the last generation, is likely not to be involved anymore, making way for Gilhem of Lokomotiv. And when he looks in front of him, he will see a fairly uninspiring defence. Players like Georgi Zhikaya and Igor Smolnikov both play their trade in the Russian league, but at fullback they do have some real quality. Whilst Yuri Zhirkov is now 37, and we may speculate to the extent at which he will play at the tournament, he is certainly a creative fullback with a wealth of experience. And at right back, Mario Fernandez, a classic Russian name, is one to watch. The big man up front for the Russians is Artem Zhuba. The 6 foot 5 monster from Zenit averages a goal better than 1 in 2 for Russia and bagged 3 goals and 2 assists at the 2018 World Cup. Fedor Smolov of Lokomotiv Moscow will also be an option for the Russians who definitely knows where the net is. Russia's game against Group Minnows Finland as well as Belgium will be played in St. Petersburg as joint hosts. Make no mistake, playing your opening two games on home soil and being able to prepare for the tournament and set up camp in your own country will give a huge advantage to Russia here. I fully expect them to get past Finland if they turn up on the day and really this game is the big one. Anything other than three points here is a disaster for Russia, make no mistake. The third game of the tournament will be played in Denmark against Denmark, one of the form teams coming into the tournament. And if Russia are heading there on zero or one points, they will have a huge mountain to climb. At 66 to one, they might have some takers, but I think it'll be the last 16 for Russia. So what do you think? Can the Russians surprise us again? Is Big Artem Zhuba just a bodyguard in shorts? Let us know in the comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be alerted when I give my verdicts on the other nation's chances.